Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Human News. Today is July the 5th, 2021. You guys can see that we're going to update you all. It's been a while, you know, since we talked about Stellar. We're going to look at the chart today in Stellar and see where this specific currency is going to go so that we can ensure that we are in position. You guys can tell that from our last price prediction, we did not get that direction correct. It was wrong. Stellar continue to go lower to the downside. So now we need to try to update you all as to, okay, cool. The market went lower. So do we have the prospect of even seeing Stella break out, at least go higher in price? Let's talk about that real quick. But before I do, if today's the first time ever seeing our video and our content, and you can actually finally see someone predicting prices without making you confused, without giving you any hypotheticals or technical indicators, we're not even all about that. We're simply here paying attention to where forecast price is going to go so that we can ensure that we are in position and we can win. This is what we're all about. So if you want to join our team, you're more than welcome to. Hit the like button, share and subscribe here to the channel in order to do that. So last time we did our video and Stella was back on June the 2nd, right here, let me zoom in. And we was playing the strength into the market in Stella around that time and it didn't even do it. Matter of fact, the price continued to go lower and lower each trading day. And then emphatically it broke our support area right there on June the 10th, right? It broke that support area around 35 cents on June the 10th. And since then, we've been going a lot lower in price. So now it didn't go right. So if we were to get out right now, we'd be down about 39% right now. And it will go that way because every prediction, every forecast is not going to be right. And when you get these type of instances, what you need to do is learn from it. So let's talk. Let me go back and let's see where we have realized that this prediction was wrong. Okay, first thing you guys can tell that since our prediction, we haven't received any indication of strength from June the 2nd, the 3rd, and definitely on June the 4th. The first indication that our prediction may be incorrect is what occurred on June the 4th, June the 5th, June the 6th, June the 7th. And then definitely on June the 8th, like every day the market in Stella has been trading was nothing but weakness. And at some point, you got to cut those losses. This is how you're able to learn and understand language analysis is that every trading day, the trap was continually letting us know that, hey, I'm trying to take this price lower. I'm trying to give you a heads up. I'm trying to let you get out your position right before a bigger move to the downside. Did you pay attention? That's the thing. So many of us. When we come into the market in the cryptocurrency space, or even in stocks, we get so consumed of wanting to be right. And your emotions, your mind makes you feel a certain type of way if you think you're wrong. But in this case, in this situation, when you're trading, when you're investing, you need to be real with yourself and take what the market is giving you. The market is not going to tell you any stories. It's not going to lie to you. It's going to always tell you the truth. And every day since we did our price prediction, it been telling us the truth. I'm trying to take this price lower. But so many of us would try to keep on the position in hopes that maybe one day we can get a bounce in the market. And as you can see, since June the 2nd, the market in Stellar hasn't even bounced yet. So if you were to realize that, yeah, this market is not trading the way I expected it to go back here on June the 7th. And then definitely when we tried to we, we broke the support line, we came back up. On June the 13th, you should have cut it then. That was 17%, almost 18% loss there versus where we are at today, 39%. You see, this is how you have to learn how to read the markets. And if you're wrong, you're wrong. You have to fess up. You have to learn how to be real with yourself when you're dealing in these markets. You cannot try to fake yourself out and think that, okay, maybe one day I could get that bounce. Or maybe one day, you know, Stella can explode up in price so I can at least break even. No. When it's when the market tells you this, when it shows you that it's weak, it's weak. Okay. So let me go ahead and take that away. All right. So now let me do this here. First things first, you guys can tell that we found support. Okay. That was a good thing for the trap to come through and show us. He came through and shown us where he wanted to prop up the market price excellent job we want to thank him for his services right because he's telling us i like this area right here for support and it goes all the way back right we go all the way back to november december of 2020 to when that price 
20 cents was acting as restriction. Now it is acting as support. So we appreciate him showing us that because we're going to keep it right there. That is our newest support area. Okay. So now let's take this line here and let's bring it down to the next area of restriction, which is right around here. That's about two areas, right? The first one is right here around 35. That's probably a cleaner area of restriction. Now I can see another area of restriction right there around 30. So we're not going to be confused because that price also is restriction in the market for Stellar. Okay. So now check this out. Let me show you all how we ended last week. So this is the weekly bar in Stellar. Okay. Right here. This is how we concluded last week. Now there's still weakness here, right? Because the market closed off of the highs, but the volume is not that high. So even though we're in a downtrend in Stellar, the market is trying to tell us that there's not that much weakness involved in this space right now. Okay. How do we end on a two day time frame? So this is the two day time frame into the market in Stellar. Right now we're not getting too much, right? The market is just pretty much trading stagnated. We're holding support around 25 restriction around 30. Okay. So we're not really seeing too much in terms of price volatility and stellar three day time frame. Yeah. The market here is giving us some weakness, but again, it's not dramatically weak. Okay. So like I've been doing pretty much on all of our videos in the cryptocurrency space, I just see the market really consolidating. I'm not seeing any dramatic movement to the upside or even to the downside right now. And look at this on the five day time frame. And this is it right here on the five day time frame. OK, so what we're getting is literally the market being stagnated, like there's no interest. Nobody wants to buy Stellar and you will have those bouts, right? And we will continue to get that until this volume dries up. And that's what we're seeing. The last couple of five day price bars, you guys can tell that this volume has been on a decrease. So we're almost in tune. We're about to enter into the market. To where we're going to see some volatility whether it's to the upside or to the downside right now not a lot's going on okay so this is it right here on the hourly time frame and again i'm not really too concerned with price direction right i'm just seeing this market in stellar continue to do its thing bouncing in between 30 cents and 25 cents okay uh let me look at this on the five hour this is the five hour time frame here in the market in stellar I don't see too much again. I'm actually going to continue to play the strength here into the market. It's stellar though. Uh, from what I'm seeing, yeah, the market here currently is giving us some weakness. We're not ready yet. Okay. Now I want you all to see this though. You see that? The market is stellar. It broke the trend. And that's on an hourly basis. So it's not too positive to see that. Right there, we broke it. You remember what I told you earlier? It's to be real with yourself. When the market breaks the trend, you need to understand that that is weakness. We was falling pretty good in the upward trend and stellar, but then we just broke it on the last three hour bar. So what do you expect? Continuation of movement higher? Or do you expect a breakdown? Be real with yourself. Since I just saw that, what we're going to do is we're going to play the weakness. It is what it is. So let me go ahead and put that on real quick. But like I've been telling you all throughout this video, I'm not really seeing too much weakness though. Okay. So obviously be on guard to see the market and Stella hold support around 24. Okay. I'm going to bring it all the way down here towards 22 and a half. And that's about it. Okay. So not a lot. This restriction area is right there around 30. So literally pay attention over the next couple of hourly time frames to see if we can hold this market strength in stellar around 24 cents. Cause if we do, we're going to try to break up back up above that ascending line. Pay attention to that. Okay. So look at that on a 13 hour chart to see if the market is still is going to be able to come through and hold 24 cents because if so 
our prediction is not going to last long because that's our first area of TP right there around 24. So that's it. Okay. So now you tell me, what do you all see on the chart for Stellar? What do you all think the price is going to go? Um, matter of fact, let me do this. Okay, I know I'm playing that on an hourly time frame. Let me get rid of that. And I'm going to play the strength because we usually do our predictions on the long term. And go ahead and bring this up. And we're going to play the strength into the market in Stellar. And again, maybe around 30 cents. Okay, that's how we're going to play the market right there in Stellar. We're just playing this on a longer time frame. Now, if I was playing this on an hourly basis, I would have went short because the market is giving us some weakness in the near term. But since I usually come through and do predictions in Stellar every once in a while, I'm going to go ahead and do this on a daily time frame and I'm going to look for the price to go higher. First area TP, though, is going to be around 28. Okay, so keep that in mind. First area up to take profits around 28. Second area is 30. Got it. Cool. Make sure you always maintain the probability, and I will see you all on the next one.